This year marks the 50th anniversary of the Vietnam War and theaters across the country are showing a new movie called Ride the Thunder, revealing the heroic untold stories of the controversial war. We will fight in Doha and we will die in Doha. The movie tracks the true story of friendship between an American and South Vietnamese soldier who fought against the communists together and became heroes together. So what does this role mean to you? It meant a lot to me. There was time that uh, I couldn't even say the line because um, it was so painful. Author and executive producer of Ride the Thunder, Richard Bodkin, says this film is different than other Vietnam War movies because it depicts what he calls the truth. The Vietnam generation, American and South Vietnamese who are here, are going to their graves not having been given the proper due, their glory that they deserve. They fought honorably, they fought hard, they stopped the communists, they were betrayed by the American Congress. Teaming up with Bodkin in co-producing the movie is an iconic face of South Vietnam, legendary actress Kyo Chin. I'm proud. I'm proud of, of the books, of the movie, because I would like, uh, you know, many, as much as many people can see uh, the period of, of the Vietnam War and uh, the young generation would see what have uh, happened in their father, their brother's uh, life. And they did. Veterans, their families, and Vietnamese Americans from all over the country came together to see history retold. And as a Vietnam vet, why is it important to share this story? It's important because we have to wake up and realize what we were doing there. And it was, we were supporting and helping the Vietnamese people. My father and my grandfather served in the Vietnam War. And to me, it's important to learn about what they went through so that I can understand myself as a person, as a Vietnamese American. And Botkin says, it's about time the story is shared. The importance of the 50th anniversary is especially critical and Vietnam often gets compared to World War II. The World War II generation was always affirmed, always celebrated. The Vietnam veterans were not, and they should have been and they should be now. To learn more about the movie and for a list of showings, check out RideTheThunderMovie.com.